Hi guys! Uh, so if you've noticed that my voice sounds more nasally and annoying than normal, that is because I have a respiratory infection. <laughs> Morphed itself into a cold and I apologize, <laughs> but uh, I'm bored and I have some new products that I want to talk about and I really want to make myself feel better. I'm just gonna do my makeup for absolutely nothing other than laying in bed watching copious amounts of true crime documentaries. This is gonna be like a first impressions kind of thing. Sorry for my hair, sorry for the general state of me and my room. My room's always a mess. Welcome to my life. Um, again, I'm sick, so I really cannot be bothered to fix that. First, whoops, the first product I wanna try out is something that I've heard about through so many YouTubers, but namely Rob Beauty Wow, Rob Beauty Christie. If you don't know who she is, girl, get on that. I love her videos. Like she is one of those people that if I, especially when it comes to either mid-range priced products, so like Anastasia Benefit, those kinds of things, or Mac even, um, or drugstore products. Um, if I have a question about something like that or if I want to see how that product performs, I will go to Christie's channel. She has a trillion and one like get ready with me's and first impression videos that like I binge watch when I have nothing else to watch. Um, and I, I really trust her reviews. I go to her for reviews first beyond anything. Anyway, sorry. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Christy loves this stuff. Several people have talked about it on YouTube. I haven't bought a ColourPop product since I lived in Jersey, which was three years ago, mind you. Yeah, I have. I am so skeptical about concealers in general because every time someone talks about a concealer that's good and I try it, it has like little to no coverage for me. I don't know if it's my skin or what, but I've only ever swatched this on my hand. I have this in shade two, by the way. Um, their color range is like crazy. I was hacking up a lung last night, so I didn't really sleep. That is very pale. The also the other thing is I tend to fall more on the pink side of the spectrum. Um, and the next darkest pink shade or next darkest cool shade was number six and number six seemed dark for me yeah i'm not too sure Ugh, this does not look good on the chin i don't know if it's that my skin has been drier than usual just because i've obviously i've been sick but and there is a bit of a weather change here in Texas. It's just started to get warmer. Um, not that it really ever gets cold here, but it, we just started to move into what I would refer to as the unbearable months because it's starting to get really warm, which you would think would make my skin more oily. I don't know. Again, I don't leave my house, so. But the coverage is pretty decent it just settles so if you are I would even venture I guess to say any older than me I'm 24 if you're any older than me or you have like any like fine lines or anything I usually do not give a rip about that kind of thing and I this is settling into like fine lines and stuff that I didn't even know I had also if you have dry skin do not recommend do not. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more on some of my blemishes here. Yeah, I have really a strange skin type. Like sometimes it's oily and sometimes it's dry and sometimes it's somewhere in between. Like it's super weird. It completely depends on the day, the time of the month. It depends on the weather. It depends on what I've eaten that week. It depends on whether or not my birth control decides to completely f fuck everything up. Like, it 
completely depends on like a trillion different factors. I really don't know about this concealer. I also look so unbelievably white and that's coming from me. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely too light a shade. Um, if you are going to buy this concealer, I don't know why you would per this video. But if you're going to buy this concealer, I would recommend wearing on the side of darker rather than lighter because it does go really, really dark or really, really light rather. I literally look like, okay, this is going to be such a, I have no pictures from this, thank God, because it was freaking embarrassing. But when I was in the seventh grade before I moved to Texas, so this was still in Illinois, I am going to powder my face while I talk. I was in a school play. I do not re remember what the play was um, at all, <laughs> but part of my costume, I don't remember what the character was or what the story was or anything, but part of my costume was I had a like completely white face, like completely white and like bright red lipstick. I have absolutely no idea what the show was and now it's making me super curious um but yeah so this is what this is reminding me of this is the mac shape and shade i have this in the color spiked which is the dark brown shade um i have such issues with brow stuff because it always runs too warm on me um but this is a felt tip pen i swatched this on my hand earlier and like it seemed like it had very little pigment but I guess that'll prevent me from going crazy overboard. So the way that I have seen these pen products marketed is that you can go in and draw like real hairs to make your brows look a little less blocky. I'm really struggling to like talk and keep this in frame and also not <laughs> completely screw these up. I mean, so far so good. And it's definitely easier than like a brow pomade, I definitely think, because you don't have to use a brush and the brow pomade can so very easily go overboard. Especially if you're looking for something like uber natural, the brow pomades aren't great for that. Yeah, I mean, I really like this. My only complaint, and this is like super, super petty, but it's really shiny. Like it literally looks like I just put like hair gel on my, on my eyebrows. You probably cannot tell from this distance, but up close it, super, it looks super shiny. Nobody would be able to tell but I know it's there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can tell by the way that I just did this brow. You can't tell from far away, but up close you definitely can. Um, I went in and over plucked the middle part of my eyebrows and I'm still waiting for them to grow back. Don't do your own eyebrows. My mother has drilled this into my head for years, but I should have listened. Don't do your own eyebrows. You're gonna screw yourself up. Um, but it did a really good job of naturally filling in that chunk of skin that should have hair on it. It's a really weird way to say that, I'm sorry. So if you have super, super sparse brows, um, like I do currently, but don't have naturally, this is a great product. My left eyebrow is my problem child for a couple of reasons. One, because she is a slightly different shape than my other eyebrow. And this eyebrow is like damn near perfect. Every family has like a, a golden child, you know, that can't do any wrong. I also have like a tiny, tiny scar like right in the arch of my eyebrow that doesn't grow any hair. And the hair right before it and right after it grow in like weird directions. It's a little frustrating. Also the tail of my left eyebrow is weird. So she's my problem child. She has to be like, ba like babied and coddled a little bit to make her, you know, look a little bit like her twin or like her sister I guess. Um, this also has a little bit of like a powder on the other end of it. 
um, which I'm going to go in and fill in that front part. Honestly, the little spongy part is like kind of taking off the little bit of product that is right there. So I don't know about the uh, shade part of the shape and shade. Yeah, I like that. The color is like perfect for me. So if you are a dark brunette that has issues finding brow products that aren't super warm on you, highly, highly recommend that. Eyes next. I bought a couple of, my CVS was having a buy one get one 50% off of the Wet n Wild liquid catsuit eyeshadows. If you know me, you know I love liquid eyeshadows because they're so easy. If you're having one of those days where you just cannot be bothered to put on eyeshadow, these are great. Um, I swatched them on my hand and put them on my Instagram stories, so if you want to go check that, it's in my uh, highlights. I also bought the uh, ColourPop one in OG. In the, in the um, Wet n Wild, I have... Um, shells and Whistle, which is such a weird freaking name. It's, it should be Bells and Whistles, like Shells and Whistles, like Bells and Whistles, whatever. Um, and then Cashmere Love. And then I have OG in the Zoella and ColourPop collab, which I did not know that was part of the uh, Zoella collab because I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think for right now I'm going to use Cashmere Love from Wet n Wild because that's the shade that really just is tripping my fancy right now. This is kind of like a taupey sparkly something something. There is so much glitter in this shade. I'm not too sure about this one on its own up close. I think it would be so pretty on top of something to like add a wee bit of shimmer or a little bit something something to a look but on its own I'm not super sure about it but I did swatch them on my hand the other day when I took that Instagram story and they it was really hard to get off so I mean that's really pretty I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Colourpop one in OG OG is definitely more of like a you need to get ready quick, but you still want some color on your lids. Whereas the Wet n Wild one is definitely more of a like topper. So if you like glitter and you don't want to like futz around with like glitter and glitter glue and all that kind of stuff, that one's a really good one. Um, then I'm going to try the ColourPop liquid liner and this is in numero uno. I think it's a really cute name. They all have really cute names. I love pen liners. This is the black, by the way, because I am boring. Um, but to be completely honest, black is the only liquid eyeliner that I wear. Um, so my favorite is the Stilo one, but I am not spending 20 bucks. Oh, it's nice and firm. We love an erect point. Few things worse to me than a liquid eyeliner with like a really flaccid, floppy tip. It's very hard to work with. And that wing was like so freaking easy. It doesn't look good, but it was very easy to apply. Um, and the color is very black. That is a really thick wing. Like, she's a thick bitch. Also, it is shiny, um, and I prefer matte black eyeliner but you know whatever this is the l'oreal voluminous million lashes mascara i like this mascara but holy hell the smell this smells like that lady in the mall that like just sprayed like a thousand perfumes on herself and you can like smell her in front of you while she's on the escalator in front of you yeah that's gonna have to do for now so um for my cheeks. I just bought the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love the butter highlighters um, and so I wanted to try the butter bronzer. This is in light, the, the lighter of the two that is there. Again, it has the same smell, which I'm not a thousand percent. Like, I really, really like this bronzer. It doesn't have any, like, shimmer or shine to it, but it's not like flat and it's like the perfect 
tone for my skin. I love this bronzer. Highly, highly recommend. Last but not least, I bought the ColourPop Trifecta um, lip bundle. And this, I'm going to put my glasses on for this. This has three lip products as the name suggests. Um, it has a ultra matte lip, a ultra satin lip, and then a ultra glossy lip. So the um, ultra matte lip is called Naughty. And then we have Rain, which is the ultra satin. And um, My Jam, which is the lip gloss. I just exfoliated my lips last night. It's very nude. But it's like not a like not like the 2007 concealer lips nude. It's like a pretty nude. It almost has a little bit of like a peachy apricot tone to it. I really like that color. I tend to prefer nudes that are a little more pinky than this. But I really really like this. Like, I was not expecting to like this color at first glance. Um, and then I'm going to use... I really like how comfortable it is, too. I'm going to use uh, My Jam on top. This is a little bit of a metallic sparkly shade, but I swatched it and it's not super pigmented, so... Oh, wow, that is really sparkly, though. So this has the same kind of, like, apricot -y tone to it, but it has a lot of shimmer. Um... You can't feel the glitter at all. It is very different for me. Sorry, my glasses are <laughs> fogging. Um, you can't feel the shimmer or anything. It is kind of sticky, but um, it is very different for me, this color. Um, but we all know I needed to kind of step away from my Buxom mudslide because I wear it like all the freaking time. So I like this but it takes some getting used to because I'm just not used to this color on me. So final thoughts, I really like everything that I tried with an exception of the concealer. I think it looks okay from far away but up close it just, I'm telling you it doesn't look great and if you look really up close at my face you can see where like it's clinging to the dry patches and the lines and the coverage is great but I'm, it's not my favorite concealer. I'm still on the hunt for a really good concealer. Um, liquid eyeshadows, really enjoy. I just think I need to play around with some looks to wear them with. Um, I think that, um, like I said before, the ColourPop one would be really good for a, like a light wash over the eyes. If you're going to do um, just like a kind of running out the door kind of thing. But the Wet n Wild one, you would need to layer over something to you know, kind of give it that little oomph. The liner, I liked it. It just needs a little bit more finesse for me to kind of learn how to use that specific liner. I am not a thousand percent into how shiny it is. I prefer a matte liner. I love the bronzer, love the brow uh, pen, and the lips. I it's like I said, it's different, but I I like it. it has some taking get has some getting used to have uh, whatever. Um, it's gonna take some getting used to. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, that is the finished first impressions for you guys. Um, thank you for bearing with my very sick voice, and yeah, this did make me feel a little bit better. So thank you for being patient with me. Um, and. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.